We're about to do a Magic the Gathering player tier list. Now, I had a quick scan. And I'll be honest, I don't know who most of these people are. So that's, that can be awkward. But regardless, we're going to try it. Alright, a million matches of Magic against me. Who would win plus games? Who would win plus plus games? Who would win about the same? Who would win less than me? And who would win less less than me? So, Autumn. <laughs> GG. I, I get farmed. I get absolutely farmed. I, don't, I, I need your help on who these people are. Who is this? Is that Aaron Gertler? Is that Aaron Gertler? I think it is, right? It looks like him. Maybe it could be someone else, but... <clears throat> That's Thompson Broccoli. That sounds like a person you've just made up, mate. You think it's not Gertler? Yep, Thompson. I, I don't know who that is, dude. I, I need a new row then. Add a row below. Question mark. Alexander Hain. In the year 2021, I would beat him. He's passed him and washed up Andy, ain't he? Full washed up Andy. Who's this guy? <clears throat> Honestly, Alexander Hain goes here. Right, who, who is this guy? It is Aaron? I, I, it, lo it does look like Aaron, but also a little bit doesn't look like him. Rating people publicly sounds like an easy way to make enemies. I mean, it is if you take Magic the Gathering seriously, yeah, which a bunch of these fucking dorks probably do, so it's funny. It's supposed to be a small, you know, humorous experience where the odd person will go, ha ha ha. It's, I am I'm having fun here. But yes, I, I am sure that more than zero of these people will get absolute, actually triggered because they're a bunch of losers. I mean, I, I know who Jimmy is, but I don't know. I don't have a clue how I've never seen him play Magic in my life. So or how can I rate him? Right, I'm, I'm going to assume that this is Aaron Gertler. And I would say Aaron Gertler is a zero. Meepo is a minus. Mengu is probably one plus. Austin farms me. Another washed up Andy. Alia. Is that Alia Dushan? I don't know how you say her name though. I actually do play against her quite a lot, I think. If it's the right person I'm thinking of. I play against her in the ladder sometimes. Hmm. From what I can remember, like, I've played. I think our, uh, my matches against her have been pretty even. But over like, a, we're doing it over a million matches. Over a million matches. I only really have like four matches against her to go by. I'm gonna go zero. Ben Stark, washed up Andy. Who's this? <clears throat> Bernardo Santos, all right, he's, he's pretty good. I'll give him a plus. All right. Soren. Is that Soren? Or is that the the Lich King? Not the Lich King. The Witch King. Bairn. Bard. <laughs> Don't know who that is. Carlos Ramal. Carlos Ramal. <laughs> That's a zero or a one plus, probably. Carlos Ramal. Uh, he could he could be either of these two, I think. I'll put him plus for now, but I might I might bring him down a down a bit. If it's looking a bit bad for me. <clears throat> I think I'm about even with that guy with short hair and glasses, yes. Carlos Lamal. Is this Chris? Chris Batelho or something? This is a zero or minus, I think. I'm going to go minus. Fuck him. Chris Kavartek. 
Crisco Vertex kind of like Carlos Ramal tier, huh? Possibly zero, possibly plus. Leaning towards plus. That's an easy zero. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Andrew Cuneo? <laughs> Washed. Question mark. Eli Loveman. He play I'm gonna give him an artificial benefit that he plays Codex. So I'm gonna artificially move him from minus to zero. Emma Handy, huh? I actually don't know about Emma Handy. I think Emma Handy is is good, but I don't know how good though. I think Emma Handy might be a plus man. Or a zero. I think it's another Carlos from Altier, you know? Floating between here. <clears throat> Just a yep good player. Yeah. Yep good. Let's go let's go zero for now. Guys, I don't we need to uh, after we're done with the ones that I actually know, we'll try and see if I can find out who half these people are. Alright, I know who this is, but I forgot his name. Ivan Flock, yes. He is he is like maybe plus plus, I think, honestly. <clears throat> Maybe plus plus. He's one of these two, for sure. He's one of the only people on this list that if I was playing against them, I would actually go into the match thinking it's pretty likely I'll lose. <clears throat> but I need I need the plus plus category to be, you know. You can't have a ton of people there. Don't know who that is. Jacob Toth, is this his name? Is that Corey Bowmeister? I can see it. It doesn't really look like him, though. Oh, me mega lol. <clears throat> All right, chat. If I play a million matches against Corey Bowmeister, what's the results? My, I, I, I would say zero or one minus. Plus, fuck off. You guys are trolling, man. Move Mengo to plus plus. Maybe. Men Mengu is definitely a floater, along with Ivan between the top two piles. I, I, I don't know, like, okay, so Corey Bowmeister is in the who mega lol pile, right? But I don't know who he is. I just, I have no idea how good he is at magic. Javier Dominguez. That's one plus. Yeah, I'm going to move Mengu up there, I think. The Pra, I think, is good. I think he would beat me. Joel Larson. I don't know, dude. <clears throat> Joel Larson, I don't think, is a plus. But I also don't really think it's a minus. So that leaves zero, right? That pretty much leaves zero. Omega lol. Kai Buddha in the year 2021. Alright, so one minus or two minuses. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I mean, Kai Buddha is a bit washed up, but he's, he's not quite as washed up as these four clowns. Kai Baboomer. <laughs> I'm gonna go one minus. Canister, huh? This 
sadly, and I hate to admit it, I think Canister would beat me. I'm not happy about this. Would he beat me or would he farm me? Over a million matches of standard and historic. I think it... Uh, I'm not sure. I think just one plus maybe, right? You think Canister is zero? No, I, th I, I would give Canister the edge. Honestly, I don't think anyone farms you. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think there's going to be a lot of people in the plus plus, man. The same way, I don't think there'll be a lot of people in minus minus either. But these are the extreme sides, right? <laughs> I'm going to go Canister 1 plus. Uh, who's this? I recognize their face, so I probably do know who that is. Is that that's Kenya Kahiro? Well, he is pretty good at Magic the Gathering, but he's also a bit wild, isn't he? You know? Like, th there is a chance that he turns up to my million match or my million game match against them and plays like. Mono blue aggro or something, you know. There's always that chance. He's pretty good at clicking the buttons, but he's not so good at choosing a deck. Is my opinion on Ken. He is kind of canister tier, huh? That that would make sense to me. He's pretty pretty canister tier. I can accept that. Fuck it. We'll put him in who mega lol for now. I'm going to need your guys' na uh, help later to name these people for me. This is Ulrich, right? Ulrich? <clears throat> is that Shota? I, I, I don't know what Shota looks like. Uh, this guy is easy zero. <laughs> this is Who's this? Answer. It really is. Li Shi Xian. I need more tiers, man. Five's not enough. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I would rate like Lee, because I think he's in one of these two, you know. Putting him at zero feels a little disrespectful, but I don't think he's quite plus tier, though, you know. I, I definitely wouldn't be, like, afraid of playing against him. At all. So, whatever. I, mean, I guess that means it has to be zero, right? But, I would definitely put him numero uno in the, z in the zero pile, though. I'm going to say Li Shi Chen is a solidly disrespectful zero. Okay, Prince. Alright, it's just a zero, isn't he? That's a who? Is that LSV? LSV, huh? What are we saying about LSV? A million matches of standard and historic against LSV. What pile of faces does he belong in? It's a hard one, isn't it? Could be another one plus. I don't think LSV is a plus plus. Guys, don't at me. <clears throat> is this Luca Magni or Luca Masni? His name's something like that, right? He's just he's just fine, I think. Zero. Don't know who that is. <clears throat> Luis Salvato. I mean, my initial instinct is another zero here. Plus? You guys think plus? Oh, I don't know, man. In 2021, that's standard and historic. Luis Salvato, huh? I'm not sure, that. I'm pretty sure if I played a million matches against Luis Salvato... I would win about 500,000 of them. Don't at me. He is good, yeah. He is good. But 
Is is he good in twenty twenty one, or is he just like good? You know, does he even play the game? I'm not sure. Maybe he's in rivals or MPL, and then I look like a cunt. But <clears throat> he's he's also a cool guy. Do you know what? I'm gonna give him a plus just because I like him. That's a who. That's don't know who that is. Martin Yuzo. I don't know about Martin Yuzo, man. <clears throat> Martin Yuzo could realistically be one plus or a zero or a minus for all I know. I don't fucking know, man. If you were going to say a sentence about Martin Yuzo and it was regarding being good at Magic the Gathering. Would you say Martin Yuza is good at Magic the Gathering? Or Martin Yuza was good at Ma Magic the Gathering? I think it's as good. I will say... <clears throat> I check out... He, he does like... Or I don't know if he does it anymore, but he used to do... Tier lists for Historic. And while I do think they've got less accurate over time... At the start they were... I pretty much agreed with him, almost completely. So I think that he understands the game really well, but I don't know how he can how well he plays it. To be fair, where is he in the MPL right now, Barton Yuzo? I skipped Mar. Oh, is that Marcio Carvalho? Okay, that doesn't look like him at all. But he's a plus, I guess. He's fifth in the MPL, Martin Yuzo, is he? That's actually a little bit better than I thought. I think I'm going to have to move Mengo down, guys. Mengo feels like he belongs in this pile, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go Martin Yuza plus. Lavungers is a solid zero. Matt Nass is washed up Andy. That's a who? Is this the guy that won the Magic Online thing? Bear in mind, these, these rankings are for 1 million matches of standard and historic against me. What would the what would the final result be? I don't know about this guy, man. Does he even play? Does, does he just play like Pioneer? Is he just a sh Pioneer Andy and Modern Andy? Because I, I don't really know how I can rate him then. But he also doesn't really belong in the who pile because I, I know who he is. <clears throat> I, I, I do think that he's probably pretty good though. You know who he is but don't know how good he is? That's fair. This guy is really good. Gabriel Nassif. You see, guys, you might think this is an easy plus plus. <clears throat> you might think that. However, however, let me just say that my lifetime results against Gabriel Nassif are very good, and I am abusing. A fl the flaw in statistics, which is I've only played against him like five times, to be able to claim that I am like four one against him in my life, I'm I am a lifetime positive win rate against Hall of Famer Gabriel Nassif. Listen, I didn't make up the rules about stats. That's that's Nassif's problem. Should have played against me more. Because over a million matches, he's going to farm me. But over five matches, I have absolutely fucked him. Easy. I've absolutely smashed him. Is that Numit? That's a zero. That's a who. Ondrej Stroschke. Little Ondrej, huh? What's he saying? Andre has a claim to be a, a pluser here. 
a one plus, I think. That'll be a fair and reasonable one plus. That's fine. Who? Washed up Andy. Right, this is Ray Sato, right? Is that PV? <laughs> uh, guys, these pictures are fucking dog shit, man. Okay, fine. It's just, uh, PV is just a bit, it's just like a bit boring, isn't it? There's nothing to say, man. It's just like, wow, guy's, guy's pretty good at magic, and that's just all you can say about him. <clears throat> not, there's not even any content to be created with regards to PV. It's literally just, okay, cool. The guy's good at clicking magic cards or using his hands. This is Ray Sato, right? I, th I really like Ray Sato. I don't know if he's a plus plus, but he's definitely a plus boy for sure. He could honestly, he could easily be a plus pluser for me. I would be... I would be more scared of playing a million matches against Ray Sato than anyone else in that list of one plus. Easily. <clears throat> so I might need to put him right at the top, man. I might need to put him right at the top. Read Juke. Let me tell you straight up, Rejuke is not plus plus. Rejuke is not minus minus. Rejuke is very, very unlikely to be a minus. I'm pr I mean, it's another one plus in it. Why do they all feel like they're one plus? This is saddening me. This one plus list is getting rather large. <clears throat> Juke would destroy me? I don't think he would, man. You could make a case that he would beat me, yeah. He wouldn't destroy me, though. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Sebastian Pozzo. Pozzo's pretty good, but I can see myself winning a reasonable amount of matches against him. A somewhat similar amount of matches. I think I can put Pozzo at zero. <clears throat> Seth Manfield. Now, this is an interesting one, because if this was an actual like tier list of pro players, I would have Seth in the very top one. But this is not a tier list of pro players. This is a... How would they do against me? Now, Seth Manfield against me, personally, he loses his most impressive attribute, which is that he is... The luckiest guy in the world. Because I am also insanely lucky. And once you take away Seth Manfield's just endless rainbow luck, what's left? What is left? Apart from his gigantic brain and bottomless pit of knowledge. What's left once you take away his best attribute is that he's still plus plus. What a sag. Shahar. Washed up, by the way. Don't know. Don't know. Mike Sigrist. See, I would say Mike Sigrist is not quite washed up, but he's getting there. He's, he's actually getting there. Yeah, I think he's like the the Kai kind of washed up, you know? Don't know who that is. 
Okay, I think I recognise this guy's face. Does this does this man have a name? I do recognise this face. Oh, it's Matt Sperling. <clears throat> okay, I've only played against him once and he beat me. I'm pretty pissed about this. I'm pretty fucking pissed. <clears throat> so if I played a million matches against him, oh, he, he is kind of good. It's annoying. Because he's... You know, the guy's also a bit of a prick, isn't he? Is the main problem. But like a prick in a good way, you know? Like, I'm, I'm also a prick. <clears throat> Do you know what? I'm just going to artificially put him in zero because I don't want the plus category to get too big. Stan is an easy plus. That's an easy, he's an easy zero. Toffle's an easy zero. Huey. Oof. Huey is kind of like, I don't know. My initial instinct is that Huey is like rejected here, you know? Is that wrong? Could be wrong. One of the best to ever live. Yeah, but the thing is, man, I, I don't really give a fuck about people who won a game of Magic in 2005, though, you know? I just don't care. But Huey still kind of wins games in the current year, which is what I'm talking about. So that, that's why I think he's probably similar to Reed Duke, you know? Not quite at their peak anymore, but still very good. You know, the classic Reed Duke tier. There's people who are not quite at their peak anymore and now kind of shit. But that's very different from the Reed Duke tier. <sighs> Huey, I'm going to have to give a plus. Wyatt Darby. Is that Wyatt Darby? It is. <laughs> I mean, I beat Wyatt Darby literally every time I play against him, but the problem is every time I play against him, he's playing Golgari mid-range, you know? So I don't really know. Shota is second row, fourth column. This is Shota? I think he's a plus. Wyatt Darby, I'm going to say minus, guys. So this is a face that I recognise, but I don't have a name. See, so he posts decks on Twitter a lot, and I like to look at them. It's not show, guys. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not show. <clears throat> I don't really know about this guy's, like, like how good he is at playing, but I, I like his, his decks, man. I'm going to have to put this dude in zero, because, I don't know. All right. So... Corey Bowmeister is too hard. I don't, I don't know. I've got no idea how good he is. All right, I need some names, guys. So Corey Bowmeister and um, Jimmy. Like, I, I know who these people are, but I don't know. I don't really know how they're good there at Magic, though. That's Alan Wu. All right, this guy is pretty goddamn good. He's plus. Easy plus. Next. Wrong guy? What, what do you mean wrong guy? That's look, This is Alan Wu. Is it? I don't know. Who's this guy then? That is Jacob Wilson. I only know him by name. And he's also pretty good, right? Where do I, where do I know his name from? Corey, this one's Corey Burkhart. Yeah, and I, like I, that's another like Corey Bowmeister tier guy. And I, I, I know I have heard of them, but I have no idea about if they're good or not. This dude's in Rivals, Jacob Wilson. <clears throat> I mean, if that's all I know him from, then that's not any reason to put him in the plus. All right, a million matches between me and Jacob Wilson at Standard and Historic, guys. You're, you're going to have to tell me for these, some of these. 
Federico Bastos. Okay, I don't I actually don't know that guy sadly. <clears throat> Next. Is this Greg Greg Orange? Alright, he's minus minus. This guy thinks he can still play control decks in 2021. Alright, who's next? <clears throat> it's not soaring, guys. <clears throat> Brad Nelson? Th that's not Brad Nelson. That's not Brad Nelson. <clears throat> Is it? <laughs> It does resemble him a little bit, but it's not Brad Nelson. <clears throat> it is Brad Nelson? No, it's not, That. Wow, it actually is. What the fuck? Brad... Bradley frickin' Nelson. Easy plus plus. No. Nah. Brad Nelson is nowhere near that top tier. Good player though. I mean, actually playing a million matches against him, I think he would beat me. But, you know. He, he would turn up with a deck built by one of his friends, you know. Like, he would t go to, his, uh, to his, his team of cronies and they'd be like, hey, I don't know, what, what deck should I play? Anybody know the best deck? <clears throat> But when we actually play, he would beat me, which is really fucking annoying, honestly. This is also not sure. All right, so nobody knows who that is. Does anybody know who this is? Zoom in. Guys, do you not have a fucking eyes? It's Chris Larson. Uh, also don't know who that is. Okay, this is a face that I recognize, but I've got, I've got no name. Is this Eli... Eli Casis or something? He's... I don't know. Is he good? Washed up Andy? Seems like a potential washed up Andy to me. He's a control player? Okay, how... How does he do in the year 2021, guys? That's what's relevant here. Judging by the 120p image, clearly... He done very well in that tournament that he's playing in there in 1997, but what about 2021? Is he a plus though? Or is he in the zero tier? I, th I think he's a plus or a zero, this guy, from what I know. Is he read juke tier? I can see that. I can see read juke tier. Okay, fine. Probably the most Scandinavian looking guy I've ever seen in my life. But I'm pretty sure it's John Rolfe in it. <clears throat> it's not sure he's American as fuck I mean he looks like he was born in Sweden John Rolf I'm pretty is, I'm, is a washed up Andy for sure look at who's this Jeffrey Brizzy <laughs> my hero <clears throat> I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, not not enough to rate him. Okay, I don't know who this is. <clears throat> I mean, this dude's the definition of zero, isn't he? <clears throat> Lucas Esper Berthoud. Ah, oh, dude, this guy's a fucking clown, man. Every time I see him post on Twitter, it's like, we're out of wizards. Wizards, stop stop making the tournaments Arena Historic and Standard. Uh, make them MTGO Limited so that our big tournaments can get 75 viewers. He's a fucking idiot, man. Guy doesn't understand that Wizards don't give a shit about the... It's nothing to do with the quality of, like, the, the, tur the actual tournament to play it. It's everything to do with the with people watching it. 
The guy is absolutely in the fucking Stone Age, dude. This guy's a guy, like, he is bottom of the minus minus. The guy's an absolute dinosaur. Clueless, man. It, it pisses, every time I see him make a tweet, it pisses me off. <clears throat> he, he might, he's actually the only person on this list that makes me actually angry. I'm actually going to make a new category for this guy. Literal Dinosaur. Emrakul on Arena. Alright. I actually quite like... Uh, every time I play against this guy, he's ranked exactly number 23. And he's always playing some fucking weird-ass... Um, like... Aura's deck. I actually think he's pretty good. <clears throat> I'm going to put him in the plus. I, I like that guy. If, if it is em the Emrakul in Arena. Like the rest of these people, and I know who some of them are, but I just, I just don't really know anything about them as playing Magic though. Like, him, I know he's pretty good. I've got no idea how good, though. That's Simon Gertson, right? He's, he's another one who was good and now could still be good or could be shit, for all I know. <clears throat> I think Michael Jacobs is still good though, right? Is that Oliver? Wow, that does not look like him at all. I'll give Oliver a zero. I'll give Michael Jacobs a plus. <clears throat> Riku Kumago. Is this Mono Black, dude? He's gas. Mono Black, dude, is gas. <clears throat> He's not that gassed though, you know. He's a solid zero. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I could just do this all day, man. This is fun. This is right up my alley. Now I understand why everyone does tier lists all day. <clears throat> Bottom of the tier list is too empty. Well, I mean, dude, these guys are all like really good, right? Or most of them are really good. So, Ob obviously, there's compared to me, there's going to be more people up the top than down the bottom. It's not as if we've just taken a random pile of fifty Magic players, you know. By the way, Seth Manfield has never beaten me at Magic. Just saying. Never. My lifetime result against Seth Manfield in matches? 4-0. <laughs> Easy clap. Easy fucking clappers. The reason why you know that Seth Manfield is in the plus plus tier though is because is exactly because uh, that is important to me and I remember that. If you ask Seth Manfield what's your lifetime result against Crokies, he would respond with, I don't fucking know, why do I care? But if you ask me what's my lifetime result against Seth, I can tell you exactly what it is. <clears throat> and that is that makes me sad. How is this Zachary Kane or whatever? His, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, he, he is pretty good, right? Is he good enough for the plus tier? Probably. I do think... I think he's one of the better people in Rivals. Simon Gertson, I, just, I can't... I don't know enough about him in the current year. 
<clears throat> yeah, I, I, I can't genuinely rank any of the remaining people. So this would be my this would be my list, guys. If I played a million matches of standard and historic against these people, this is the list of people that would farm me. This is the list of people that would beat me. This is the list of people that I think would be pretty close. This is the list of people I think I would beat. And this is the list of people who uh, would not be able to install Arena. That's pretty much it. 